multiplication and division of decimal numbers. In this module, you will learn about multiplication and division of decimal numbers. Sarla purchased 1.5 kg sugar at the rate of rupees 30.50 per kg. How much money should she pay? To calculate this, you need to multiply 1.5 into 30.50. Here both the numbers are decimal numbers. So, we have come across situation where we need to know how to multiply two decimals. Let us now learn the multiplication of two decimal numbers. Let's first multiply 0 0.1 into 0 0.1. 0 0.1 means one part of ten parts. It is represented as one upon ten using fraction and pictorially as Thus, 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 is equal to 1 upon 10 into 1 upon 10, which means 1 upon 10 of 1 upon 10. So here, we are finding 10th part of 1 upon 10. So we can see it as, we find that there are 100 squares here. So it is represented as 1 square out of 100 or 0 0.01. Hence, we conclude that 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 is equal to 1 upon 10 into 1 upon 10, which is equal to 1 upon 100 or 0 0.01. Now, let us find 0 0.6 into 0 0.3. We get 0 0.6 into 0 0.3 equal 6 upon 10 into 3 upon 10 or 6 upon 10 of 3 upon 10. Here, we see that 18 out of 100 is the answer and it can be represented as 0 0.08. Now, from both these examples, we notice that for multiplying any two decimal number, first, we have to multiply them as whole numbers ignoring decimal point. Then, count the total number of digits to the right of the decimal points in the number being multiplied. Then, put a decimal point by counting that much places from right to left. Let us find now 10.5 into 0 0.25. First, multiply 105 with 25 we get 2625. Now, in 10.5, there is one digit after decimal point and in 0 0.25, there are two digit. So, total is 3. So, from right, most digit 5 in 2625 move 3 places towards left. So, we get 2.625. So, the answer is 2.625. You have observed that 3.7 is 37 upon 10. 3.72 is 372 upon 100. 3.723 is 3723 upon 1000. So, depending on the position of the decimal point, the decimal number can be converted to a fraction with denominator 10, 100 or 1000 etc. Now what if a decimal number is multiplied by 10, 100 or 1000? Let us have a look. We see that there is a pattern in multiplying a number by 10, 100 and 1000. The decimal point in the product shifts to the right by as many zeros as in 10, 100 or 1000. Thus, when we multiply any decimal number by 10, 100 or 1000, just move the decimal point to right by the number of zeros 
being multiplied. Sheila was preparing a design to decorate her classroom. She needed a few colored strips of paper of length 1.8 cm each. She had a strip of colored paper of length 7.2 cm. How many pieces of the required length will she get out of this strip? She thought it would be 7.2 upon 1.8 cm. Is she correct? Both 7.2 and 1.8 are decimal numbers. So we need to know the division of decimal numbers. Let's learn division of decimal numbers. First, let us divide a decimal number by 10, 100 and 1000. Consider 64.5 divided by 10. We write it as 645 upon 10 divided by 10, which gives 645 upon 10 into 1 upon 10. That is equal to 645 upon 100. So we can write it as 6.45. Similarly, if we divide 64.5 by 100 and 1000, we get 0 0.645 and 0 0.0645, respectively. We see here that there is a pattern in dividing number by 10, 100 and 1002. On dividing decimal by 10, the decimal point moves one place towards left. Similarly, by 100, it moves two places left and so on. So when we divide any decimal number by 10, 100, 1000 etc., just move the decimal point to the left, as many as zeros divided. Let us learn how to divide a decimal number by whole number. Take this example. 6.4 divided by 8. By converting it to fraction, we can calculate the value. Or, let us first divide 64 by 8. We get 8. We see there is one digit to the right of the decimal point in 6.4. Place the decimal in 8 such that there would be one digit to its right. So we get 0 0.8 again. Now for 12.96 divide 4. Divide 1296 by 4. We get 324. As there are two digits to the right of the decimal in 12.96, making similar placement of the decimal in 324, you will get 3.24. Let us now divide two decimal numbers. Take example 25.5 divided by 0 0.5. Converting to fraction and dividing them, we get 51 as answer. We observe that in both 25.5 and 0 0.5, there is a one digit after decimal point, And the decimal point was shifted by one place to the right in 0 0.5 to make it 5 also. There was a shift of one decimal point to the right in 25.5 also to make it 255. Thus, we can say 25.5 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 255 divided by 5, which gives 51. Thus, if we divide 5.6 by 1.4, we can write it as, now find 20.55 divided by 1.5. We get 13.7. Now, if we shift one decimal point in 20.55 and 1.5, we can write it as 205.5 and 15. 
So now, divide it as 2055 by 15 and place the decimal point in answer from last digit up to one decimal point. Similarly, you can divide other decimal numbers too. Let us summarize all that we learnt in this module on the multiplication and division of decimal numbers.